it's Gianna Lan, the Kids of Crypto. We're keeping the loop on all the latest trends and news of crypto and blockchain technology. Together, we're building crypto movement, the French climate justice, and economic empowerment. We're at another location again. I'm dog sitting. Uh, you might see Pax, Fluke, and Clint in the background. They're napping right now over there. Today, I have a tutorial for anybody who wants to get off a of crypto exchange and wants to get onto a crypto wallet. If you use Exchange Voyager, you might have gotten a notification today that they're temporarily suspending deposits, withdrawals, trading, and loyalty rewards. This is not financial advice, but I'm hoping within the next two to three days, Voyager will be up and running again. But I think it's a really good idea if something like this happens again, that you get your money off of crypto exchanges and onto a more secure wallet. So there's a lot of folks who have Cardano here. So I want to talk about how to get the Euroi wallet with Cardano. I have an iPhone, so I use the app store for that. Basically, any phone that you have, you can probably download it with the marketplace that you have there. It's a free Euroi wallet. So once that's all downloaded and onto your phone, you want to create a new wallet. I would recommend to do the Shelly wallet, not the Byron era wallet. Shelly is the newer one. Byron's kind of outdated now. After that, you name your wallet. That's just for you. You can name it whatever you want. It's just to remember which wallet's what. Some people might have several wallets. Then make sure you have a secure spending password. That's going to be needed for all your transactions, for staking, for receiving, and for giving people ADA. Okay, this is the really important part now. You have to make sure you have a physical copy of your recovery phrase. Don't have a screenshot. You might get hacked this way. Make sure you get a piece of paper. Um, I mean, I have things on like Chipotle bags, be sustainable, do whatever you want, but write it with a pen and paper and hide it somewhere. Um, it's several words that just are put at random. That's going to be your password. And if you lose that, you lose all of your access to your ADA. So make sure you write that down, put it in a super secure place. Do not give it to anybody and make sure it's not a screenshot. It's not a digital copy or a photo because a hacker can get into your wallet and take all of your funds that way. After that, you're all set up. You can generate a new wallet address. You can receive your funds and you can send them through an exchange. So if your exchange is working, if you buy your ADA somewhere else, you can use that address that you generate there and send it to your, your Roy wallet. And yeah, that's basically it. If you want to, you can stake your ADA somewhere. Um, there's this whole staking center. You can look through all the different stake pools and get rewards that way. And the longer that you hold your ADA there, um, the more benefits that you'll have. And we'll probably have another video on that too of how staking works, but that's a whole other thing. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, just stay safe out there. Make sure that you're using your crypto securely and that you have all your passwords secure because I don't want anyone to lose out on this and to just think crypto is a scam or lose their money through crypto. But that's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.